I, Anthony L. Goldmore, president and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, here to bring you another exciting Black Buddhist lecture. It is important that you have Black Buddhist teachers. It is Our lecture today is Asians are not the true Buddhist masters. Buddhism is perceived as an Asian religion and Asians are perceived as the masters of Buddhism. This is false. Asians are not the masters of Buddhism. Asians are the masters of Asian culture that is perceived as Buddhism. In their teachings, they are Hindu Buddhists via extricating all black history, culture, and language from the Buddhist teachings. Let me cite you an example. We follow the teachings of the 13th century Japanese Buddhist sage, Nichiren Shonen. The Japanese who teach Nichiren Buddhism extricate all black Buddhist history, culture, and language from the teachings. Let me explain. Just look at this picture of Nichiren Shonen. You can see that he is black. What our Japanese teachers do not share with black people is that the original people of Japan were not only black people, DNA evidence proves the black heritage in Japan. America's first anthropologist, Dr. Alexander Francis Chamberlain wrote that the first shogun of Japan was a black man. Now, in 1923, anthropologist Roland B. Dixon wrote that the earliest population of Japan were in the main blend of proto-astraloid and proto-negroid types, thus similar to ancient underlying stratum of the population, southward along the whole coast and throughout Indochina and beyond India itself. Dixon point out, in Japan, the ancient Negrito elements still be discerned by characteristics which are the same time exterior and OT logic. You see, the original Japan and the original people of Japan were black people who were later killed by the light-skinned people. See, what all black people should know about Buddhism is that the Japanese teach the racist Mahayana Buddhism, whereas all black history, culture, and language is extricated from the Buddhist teachings. In the 13th century Japan, we recognize that Nichiren Shonen was not only a black man, Nichiren wrote that he was a Chandela. Nichiren and in inscribing the Gohanzan or object of worship included the black gods on the Gohanzan. Nichiren was from Naga Sea, Japan of the Nagas. Now, Nichiren challenged Mahayana Buddhism in Japan and declared that only the Lotus Sutra are the correct teachings of Shakyamuni's Buddhism. The Japanese Nichiren sets, the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, and Nichiren Shu introduced black people to Nichiren Buddhism. What all black people should know about Buddhism and the way it is taught that extricates all black history, language, and culture is racism and white supremacy. What the Japanese did do, however, the SGI did translate the writings of Nichiren to English. While white people and Asians teach a Buddhism of colonization, we black people have the skills now to teach Buddhism correctly, inclusive of our black history, culture, and language. This brings us to where and who, what and who we are, the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. In the second century AD, 
India, a black country, became colonized by a white king by the name of Kanishka. In order the and under the ring of Kanishka, Kanishka, whereas he separated Buddhism by race, culture, and language via a new religion called Mahayana Buddhism. King Kanishka changed the image and the culture of the Buddha from black to white. Let us look at the Ganhara images whereas he changed the culture and spirit of Buddhism. In fact, he rewrote history via calling his own second fourth Buddhist council in Kashmir in the second century AD. You see, the first Buddhist fourth council was in Ceylon, which is now called Sri Lanka, in 29 BC. See, King Kanishka and a Brahmin by the name of Ashvagosha created a new Buddhism called Mahayana Buddhism. Mahayana Buddhism is white Buddhism in that via the Sanskrit language it extricates all black history, culture, and language from the Buddhist teachings. Mahayana Buddhism is a rewrite of Buddhist history whereas the Buddha is changed from black to white. Mahayana Buddhism is the religion of the Brahmins and it is akin to its sister Hinduism. See, Hinduism was originally known as Brahmanism that evolved in the AD. See, on November the 7th, 2004, the Dalai Lama, a noted Mahayana Buddhist, was in South Africa, and this is what he said, quote, Hinduism has a long tradition, and Buddhism draws many practices from the old ancient traditions of India. In many ways, Hinduism and Buddhism are twins. The Dalai Lama was awarded and deemed brother by the Hindu Buddhists in 2014. It is people like the Dalai Lama who holds up Brahmanism or who holds up Hinduism with its style of Mahayana Buddhism. See, both Hinduism and Buddhism as it is taught today are both complicit in their roles to extricate black history, culture, and language from the Buddhist teachings. See, what is it that all black people should learn about Buddhism? What is it that all black people should learn about Hinduism? See, true Buddhism, true Buddhist history is associated with the history, culture, and language of man mankind's great and early black empires such as Nubia, Ethiopia, Egypt, and the Indus Valley. These black empires are the builders of civilization. The Buddhist or the Magadha Empire came from the Indus Valley civilization. The people, culture, history, and language of Buddhism comes from the Harappan culture. This culture is also known as the Indus Valley civilization. Science teaches us about the Indus Valley civilization. The oldest civilization in human history is the Indus Valley civilization noted by many scientists as being older than the Egyptian civilization. What is clear in regards to both civilizations is that the founders of both the Egyptian civilization and the Indus Valley civilization were black people known to whites as Ethiopians. 
Ethiopia is a Greek word that means burnt skin or black people. Let me explain to you the most important thing that you should learn about Hinduism. Dr. R.P. Harsh writes, quote, We do not find the word Hindu in any ancient Hindu or Aryan literature. In regards to science, meaning archaeology, anthropology, literary science, genetic science, and linguistic science, there does not exist one shred of evidence of Hinduism before Buddhism or even in the AD. Dr. Behemro and Becker, during the debate on the draft the Indian Constitution acts the Brahmin intellectuals to produce any mantra which could produce gold if their Vedas are treasure houses of science. But no one came forward. Let us be clear in regards to science, meaning archaeology, archaeology anthropology, literary science, genetic science, and linguistic science, there does not exist one shred of evidence of Hinduism before Buddhism. However, whites, Asians, and black people who are trained by whites and Asians say Hinduism is the world's oldest religion. They even say that the Buddha was a Hindu. The only evidence the Hindu can produce are writings they call the Vedas. Again, the Vedas have no archaeology, anthropology, literary science, genetic science, and linguistic science. While there is no evidence or science or carbon dating, we are taught to believe that the Vedas are a true story. Let me explain to you something that black people should understand about both. Mahayana Buddhism and Hinduism. They both use the language of Sanskrit. Please note the absolute first archaeological evidence of Sanskrit is the Rudra Thanam, noted in the AD. The Hindu Vedas are written in Sanskrit. How could such be accurate? when Sanskrit did not exist before the AD. In spite of having no archaeological and literary evidence, Vedic historians inserted Aryan civilization and Vedic period in a historical sequence anterior to Buddhism. While the truth is, there is nothing like Aryan civilization and Vedic period in Indian history anterior to Buddhism. Parskip, the language of the indigenous people, in ancient times it was associated with Buddhism. This is what black people should know about Buddhism in India. The father of history, Herodotus, visited India and this is what he wrote, quote, All the tribes I mention, their skin is the same color, much like the Ethiopians. He also said, quote, of on his return to Greece, they gathered around and they asked, Tell us about the great land of the blacks called Ethiopia. And Herodotus said, quote, There are two great Ethiopian nations, one in Sin, that's India, and the other in Egypt, unquote. I am Anthony L. Elmore, president and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, bringing you another exciting Black Buddhist lecture. Thank you very much.
tell me what the land I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the land I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the land I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the land I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the land I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the land I see. Disregard what the facts may be. All ancient icons show a simple fact. They all show that the Buddha was black. I believe in facts and the Kato was wrong. Buddha was no Aryan. This song saw the history by those who rewrite history. Well said so that their souls understand. It was a thousand years as the Buddha dealt his teacher ride in Japan. Let me tell you something that makes sense. The Buddha's teachings did not start in the Orient. Those of you make a religious incision, the Buddha's teaching no ancient religion. The Buddha's religion has a lot of mystery. Ancient took out all the black Buddhist history. Let me lay on you the history and the facts. Look at the ancient Buddhist statues, he's always right. Let me lay this on you all the black Buddhist history and take out all the Buddhist history. The land today they call India. In the old days, it was called Eastern Ethiopia. The first people in the land were called Dravidian. The same people today we call Nubian. It is the land where we find the birth of racism. It all started in a religion called Brahmanism. A Dravidian brother. They said it when it's called the Vedic culture. The culture was a religion called Hinduism. They created the world's first religious racism. They created system called caste that made black people eternally last. The Vedic religion was called Brahmanism. It was the story of teachings of ancient Buddhism. Let me let you in on some facts. The icons of the ancient Buddha were all black. Let me break down to you the Buddhist mystery. Shakyamuni Buddha was the first Buddha recorded in history. Let us not get our thoughts mixed. The elder Buddha came from Egypt. He was called Hermes Travagastus. The Buddhist teachings come from other lands. The Buddhists we learn come from Japan. The Buddhism that the Japanese teach comes in mystery. That is because the Japanese extricated the black Buddhist history. Expand your mind and gain power. Let us go to the ancient Japanese capital called Nara. At the ancient Japanese capital in Japan called Nara, there is a temple called Todachi. This temple is where a world heritage site be. We're not to believe what our line eyes see. When it comes to the facts, do not be alarmed. This world largest Indo Buddhist statue is made in bronze. This bronze statue is about 50 feet high. When it comes to the Buddha, the Japanese will not lie. The world's Indo Buddhist statue is made of bronze and gold. We should disregard the facts that the statue is black. Do not be whole. Disregard the facts and believe what you're told. The hell, this Buddhist statue does not make sense. When they made it black and nappy, it was an accident. They called me Sensei Akita, I am the SCI president. I'm like a Buddha, I'm never wrong. Disregard the Buddha stature. The Buddha was not black, he was Aryan. In my knowledge to learn about the black Buddha, I did persist. I went to the Japanese priest and asked him to explain a picture like this. The priest says, forget your line eyes. No black Buddha statue exists. I said the black hair on the old Buddha statues don't make sense. The priest says, don't believe your lying eyes. The black hair is just an accident. In the Buddha world, the black Buddha's mystery. Because the angel removes all the black Buddha's history. Educate yourself regarding the Buddha's history. But learning black to us history. What the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. Tell me what the line I see. Disregard what the facts may be. All ancient icons show a simple fact. They all 
showed that the Buddha was black I believe in facts and the cater was wrong Buddha 